What is up everybody? Solomon here. I hope you guys are all having a great start to your February. Gigantic news coming out today that kind of alludes me to that belief that, you know, we haven't seen the last of what Bank of England has planned for uh, integration with digital assets. We can go back to 2016. We know the Ripple trial. We know the Interledger Protocol trial. Uh, we can go back to 2000, early 2020 where... Um, Victoria Cleland, who one of the head growth innovators behind the Bank of England's renewed real-time growth settlement system, stating that the renewed uh, real-time growth settlement system would not be built on top of blockchain and DLT, but would interoperate with it. We can go to later in 2020 or early 2021 when we found out that Accenture was going to be the technology integrator for the Bank of England's renewed real-time growth settlement system. We know that Accenture is a RippleNet integrator. Um, all of that combined, and you know, we kind of get this announcement today that Modular and Ripple announce a strategic partnership to enable seamless payments into the UK and Europe. Now, Modular is a payments platform, obviously. This partnership announcement, like we said, to enable the seamless payments in the UK and Europe. And Trust Payments, the Global Unified Payments Group, is the first customer to go live and begin benefiting from this partnership. We can look a little bit into trust payments, uh, obviously integration with MasterCard, Visa, et cetera, et cetera. But really, I want to focus on the Bank of England aspect here because it goes down in this article to talk about Modular been, has been focusing on building a seamless payments as a service solution in the uh, European and UK payment rails with access to critical payment infrastructure in the UK, including faster payments, BAX, CHAPS, SWIFT, uh, SEPA in Europe. It is uh, its access and deep expertise of the European payments landscape made Modular an ideal partner for Ripple. Moreover, Modular is one of the few non-banks to be directly connected to the Bank of England, allowing the payments platform to settle funds at the central bank. So Modular has, has the capability and tie-in within the Bank of England to literally settle funds within the central bank. So integration into that real-time growth settlement system. Now, Modular actually put a post out about this in January 2020. So what direct access to the Bank of England means and why it matters. What does it mean? Fundamentally, uh, it means that we're one of the few non-bank payment service providers to have direct ass access into the faster payment service, uh, removing our reliance on other banks to indirectly access it. So gigantic, obviously, we could see Modular's tie-in with the Bank of England, and we know the history there. Uh, Modular has been busy lately also, though. Uh, granted a Dutch uh, ex uh, electronic money institution's uh, license by uh, Denetter uh, Lunch uh, Bank, which is the central bank. Um, and Denetter Lunch has been tied in. Well, we, we can see like previous Ripple announcements uh, again, take this with a gigantic grain of salt because these are a little bit older, but hailing Ripple's network as excellent uh, excellent infrastructure. I went onto that post, uh, deleted obviously, but we, we've captured stuff from 2019 as well. This is a Dutch Payments Association document. Um, I believe that this document came out from the central bank and talking about the Ripple network protocol, talking about XRP as well. Uh, and Modular also... Tying up with Fidelity, Fidelity Information Services Ventures, this was a gigantic backing probably in spring of 2021, uh, undisclosed amount of investment from Fidelity Information Services. PayPal also, Fidelity Information Services obviously operating a Ripple connector. Whew. All right, I'm out of breath. Um, I did find this today as well. Now, this is the Minister of Finance from the government of India. What we can see here is that all of the rhetoric is completely nonsense and they are certainly going to be rolling out their own central bank digital currency. The time frame is a little bit interesting to me because a lot of these larger nations are potentially doing it that 2024 time frame. Uh, we have literally got the Minister of Finance talking 2022, uh, 2022 or 2023 at the latest. So a digital rupee. Introduction of a central bank digital currency will be... Uh, will give a large boost to the digital economy. Digital currency will also lead to a more efficient, cheaper currency management system. It is therefore proposed to introduce the digital rupee using blockchain and other technologies uh, issued by the Reserve Bank of India starting in 2022-2023. Uh, 
taking note of this. This came out a couple of days ago, but certainly looking out for this new digital securities strategy that is going to come down as an executive order. Now, businesses will have until the second half of 2022 to make comments on this document when it does come out but essentially talking about new regulatory frameworks, potentially highlighting uh, digital assets, potentially highlighting uh, tax aspects of those digital assets, potentially highlighting um, the risk to the dollar as well. Uh, we'll see what comes out of this. I'm not going to turn this into a forest fire until we see what's in it. And again, uh, organizations are gonna have time to respond to this document as well. Gigantic shout out to Hedera Hashgraph co-founders Mance Harmon and Dr. Lehman Baird. Uh, this was a few days ago, or yesterday this came out. Uh, they essentially won uh, two Tech Titan Awards. Now, Tech Titans is the largest tech trade organization in Texas. They named Mance Harmon and Dr. Lehman Baird uh, the winners of the Emerging Company CEO and Technology Inventor Award CEO, uh, or Technolo Technology Inventor Awards uh respectively, at the 21st Annual Tech Titans Awards. Uh, Mance and Lehman both touching on the testament to the hard work and dedication of Hedera's community developers, partners, and council members. So gigantic and congratulations uh, to Dr. Baird and to uh, Mr. Harmon. And last but not least, uh, this is just in interesting to me because I think that we're going to see some things within the XRPL for smart contract integration at some point later in 2022, hopefully. But saw this about Stellar. Uh, Stellar putting a out a tweet essentially stating that smart contracts are coming to Stellar. This was posted on January 25th. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Certainly paying attention to all the integrations going on with um, some of these central banks, these tech companies. And then they make these announcements for partnerships like Modular partnering with Ripple. I don't believe I saw anything directly uh, mentioning on-demand liquidity or XRP. I just like seeing the tie-ins with these central banks because essentially uh, Modular, one of the non-banking institutions that has direct settlement capability and access within the Bank of England's real-time gross settlement system and faster payment service uh, functionality as well. I think that's interesting and I always find it interesting who these organizations are involving themselves with. I'll just put it... Um, as easy as that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy your uh, the rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you happen to be. And let's start February uh, on a good foot forward. So uh, I'll talk to you guys later.